sense of worship. The Bible says that blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah and hallelujah. That means that when you come with good news, actually the Bible says that blessed are the feet of them that carry good news. That means whenever you come with good news, you are a blessed person. Hallelujah and hallelujah. And even today, I've come with good news just to bless your life. That our God pays away where seems to be no way. Every kind of crooked way is going to be strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I'd like to wish you a happy new year 2021. I'd like to bless the Lord for 2020. Whatever kind of challenges that you faced in life, they are all testing you, sharpening you, that you may be in position to conquer and overcome in this year 2021. 21 in the name of our Lord 
Jesus Christ. Hallelujah and hallelujah. We bless the Lord for this moment of worship as we dig deeper in the incense of worship. My brothers, my sisters, I'd like uh, to welcome you in this new year in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, the Son of the Living God. Just before you is your dear friend uh, and the minister, Humphrey Mokisa from the Abbas Christian Center in Chibuye, Machinde Division, Kampala, the capital city of Uganda, uh, in East Africa, the region of Africa. Hallelujah. Being pastored by Dr. Bishop Rivers, our spiritual father. We glorify God and bless the Lord on his behalf and the great work that he's doing in this nation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I'd like to bless you as we begin this new year on this first day of the year. That is a uh, first January. I'd like to bless you with this word of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. And it's going to be found in, uh, in Psalms. Uh, it's going to be found in Psalms. Psalms, Psalms, Psalms. Uh, a chapter, we're going to read Psalms 34. 34 and it's going to be verse 11. The Bible says that you crown the year with your goodness and your paths drip with abundance. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Uh, I'm reading NKJV. This is verse 11 that I'm reading. The Bible says that you crown the year with your goodness and your paths drip with abundance. Our God crowns, crowns the year with his uh, goodness and actually and his past grip with abundance that means a person who trusts in the lord a person who trusts the lord as a way maker as a god who paves the way where sins will be in way the bible says when you read um uh, psalms 23 when you read verse 4 the bible says that even though i walk in there uh, through the valley of shadow of death i'll fear no evil because you are with me hallelujah and hallelujah that means uh the past year the 2020 it has been a testing year full of challenges and tribulations everywhere they have been haunted by various uh, tests and, and, and trials of life but we bless the lord we've been able to overcome we've been able to peruse through the year up to where we are we bless the lord for this new year we bless him for this new year 2021 we bless him for this year actually we bless him for the gift of life that he has given us we have lost many people each and every family, uh, family has been tested with challenges but we bless the lord because we are still living we bless the lord because we are still are uh, worshiping and glorifying the lord uh, and the great i am hallelujah and uh, hallelujah and the bible when you read uh, that first 11 as you say that he crowns the year with his goodness and his past grip uh, with abundance we say uh, when, when, when we were playing this uh, we say that that he moves mountains you move the mountain, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. In his power, he performs miracles. He makes mountains, levels mountains, that he may find a way to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. And even this year, 2021, every mountain is going to be leveled that you may succeed in your life, that you may succeed, after that you may arrive into your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I'm going to pray for you today as we begin this new year. All the people have been always uh, communing together in this moment of worship as we worship the great I am, that the, my God has sustain you. May the Lord elevate you. May the Lord promote you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord encourage you. May He back you up with this supernatural power of the Holy Spirit in this new year 2021. That every mountain is going to be leveled. That you may succeed in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Each and every work that you happen to lay your hands to do. That you may prosper in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As we begin this new year, as I encourage you in, at, at this beginning of this new year, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I'd like to pray with you. And if you're not yet born again, I'd like uh, to welcome you into the kingdom. Because the Bible says that for God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. This is the love of God. He wants you to succeed, He wants you to overcome, He wants you to receive this eternal life that you may not perish as though you never knew anything because of this good news that has come into your house or at your working place wherever you are because of this good news perceive and we also receive it today in the name of jesus christ that you may overcome if you're not yet born again 
Let me welcome you into the kingdom as you utter out these words in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You can confess with me. Son, Father, from today, I open up my heart. Accept my Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. From today, I confess with my mouth that I am born again and I am a child of God. I denounce every works and every act of the enemy. I denounce his godliness that I evolved myself in. From today I confess that I am a child of God. Now having confessed, let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, I then get the gentleman, I then get the lady who has accepted you as her Lord and her personal Savior. I pray for her that she may overcome all her, her entire life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for the Holy Spirit to indwell her, to enable her, to comfort her, to encourage her, to strengthen her as she walk in this new journey of salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray that you may succeed all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may the Lord always uh, be with you. And you put it as you take all the steps of this journey of salvation in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living. I pray for the sick people. If you are sick, I pray for you that you may receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living. If you are sick of COVID, I command healing in your lungs right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living. If you are being bound by any kind of evil spirit, I pray that you may be turned loose in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living. Receive your deliverance from today in the name of Jesus the son of the living God go and overcome all the days of your life in the name of Jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus remember always to turn on a moment of worship as you dig deeper in the incense of worship remember always to turn on this year 2021 I pray that you may be together come 2020 uh, second let us be together, living and also glorifying the name of the Lord as we worship the great I am. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Bye, man. We meet next time.